Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign. I debated whether or not I even want to play the mission because there's a good chance that we're going to get yet again stomped. But what would XCOM be without difficult missions? We lost the last one. This one, Operation Witch Shield, might be the next lost mission. But uh, I will try my hardest to not let that happen. In order to do it, we have uh, scattered a good team. Haywire, Noxus, Sane, Roro, the DM, and Snake, the uh, and Pliskin, is going to go on to this mission. I took two uh, Marines because they tend to be the highest DPS that we do have. Uh, got two um, Ghost Grenades which I should have had in the last mission, just to counter the BS that was happening. And we got um, a variety of other instruments, such as ammunition and, of course, a Mimic Beacon. So this is as good as it gets for kind of a B- minus team. Uh, part of the B team are injured, uh, and so this is a B to C team going right into the mission. Let's see if we can pull it off. All right, we landed near high ground, which is good. UFO is in range as well. And what is that? A new design. Interesting. Power chamber is here. And yeah, some sort of transmitter over there. Okay. And even better. Cool. We got <laughs> we got an XCOM um, resistance operative, Caden. Hopefully Caden will have a better time than his predecessor. And a double agent, this time with a shotgun. Um, Ernestos uh, did unfortunately not survive, but Jose here might do a better job. Why am I, by the way, giving the double agents always Spanish names. I don't know. But it appears quite fitting. No need to ask twice. Let's Got put me. these guys in high ground. Got cover. Um, yeah, I want a Hayward at the front line. And Roro definitely needs to be at the front line as well. Got it. Moving. Uh, Sane could be a bit further to the back, say about here. To go. All right, it's a non-timed mission until we run into the first pack, but I've never reached the console without running into at least one pack, so rest assured this is going to happen. That's a brute mother right there. So, yeah. Uh, this here is the console room, I, I think. Typically it is in the middle, but... Hmm. Interestingly enough, if you destroy the consoles, that will be just as good. So one option here could be... Just going and destroying the console uh, consoles. Understood. Moving out. Good copy. Moving on target. Good. Our breaching team Moving stays out. here. Caden a little bit back because if we're fighting chrysalids, I am concerned Stepping off. that uh, that they might. Uh, mm, they might start to hit us and Caden's uh, Caden being a quasi one shot wouldn't really be great. There's another issue here with cover. Not all of it although it appears to be cover, not all of it is cover. Could stand here, but that's dangerous. I don't want to trigger from the other side. We don't have a true sniper, but we do have a few characters that could benefit from high ground. They we're also so close to the actual UFO. Uh, XG. 
Excuse me. Excuse moi. Oh, excuse me. What the actual F is happening? Gatekeeper Prime. Or okay. One of those lovely situations where you think everything is okay. And then you're being blasted by a big fat ray of energy for 12 points of damage. Well. Sure. Sure, bro. Sure. Uh, why exactly? What is even happening? Why do the why do, why do they get a full turn? All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, at some point this game turned from a normal game into an absolute ridiculous cluster F. <clears throat> what is even happening? So here's the deal. I was just standing there waiting to breach. Nothing, nothing unordinary about that. And the game decided, in a matter of n not one turn uh, of my own, to spawn a massive pack of a gatekeeper, um, prime, mind you, with six uh, mm, with six supports. Then another full pack of six chrysalids moved in. Then a full pack of six chrysalids spawned and then the hive spawned on top of it so although i had an overwatch trap i feel that i'm in the much much worse position right now holy uh, motherfucking uh, pepperonis what is even happening Wow. Words can't express the amount of uh, hurt you feel when you're being blown up. Okay. Well. Well. So. A rational individual would uh, would now potentially just call it a mission, but I am not there yet. Maybe I can finesse myself out of it. Maybe. Okay, so just say hypothetically, okay? Just say hypothetically, this guy here would die, so that I can at least move out. Um, ghost grenade. If the game throws bullshit at you, just throw some bu uh, bullshit back. Moving to here. We need to deal with a gatekeeper prime, believe it or not. Emergency eight into nano heal. 
I would need to heal our marine as well. Damn it. Anyways. There we go. 66%. Come on. That's good. Okay. That allows us to actually deal with it. Like a grown adult. Bender, no. I want to get rid of the shields. Just double checking. Is this here in range? No. By the way, this is not cover. I tricked myself yet again. Okay, good. Let's again double check. Looks legit. What's over there? Moving to here. Dual striking, I want to hit this guy. Okay, advanced guardian, dual strike, here we go. DM moves up. Still wanting that advanced guardian. No, no. Can't we just hit him? Apparently not. Strange line of sight here. Hate to use run gun for something as benign as that, but believe me, <clears throat> once the shields drop, we're actually fine. No, no, yes, please. No, no, it's not good. All right, didn't want to do that before. But apparently the game does not leave me any other choice. So... This could have been much, much, much more damage. Kalem. Finally kills the guardian. No. <clears throat> he does not. Okay, which then in return means we 
can go a tiny bit more toe to toe in melee. Stupid infector. Nope. Well, our Jesus was not on our side. We prayed, we asked for help, but our Jesus was like, nah, bro. Nah, bro, you good. All right. Yeah, kill the few remaining stupid chrysalid rippers. And I hope we can... I hope they are continuing to cluster up. Very good. Good, the brute mother is another problem. <clears throat> I think the prime is one of our biggest issues at the moment. Okay, this round we're going to play with a mimic beacon. Please can get the heal. Our elite assault kills the brute mother. Jose, come on. Oh, how could you do that to me, dude? Well, there's another pack. One that we don't want to trigger, eh? Good. Free damage uh, via a mine. Grenade. Followed up by grenade damage. Need to kill that brute mother. Come on, big fat crit. The very opposite of a big fat crit, but we got a hair trigger at least. And that made it worthwhile. Yeah, we gotta waste another grenade here, unfortunately. Mm. 
Mainly because it's too many targets. And I need to <coughs> remove them. A Mimic Beacon will not be able to help us fully. That empties our entire lot of grenades. On the flip side, the in uh, Infector is in level range. Gatekeeper is the next target. Gatekeeper Prime needs to die. Good damage. Fabulous damage. Wow, wonderful. Bliskin got seven points of damage yet again. Poor guy. Stand in the open. Understood. Moving out. Oxus moves back. Kill that guy. We could get the Mamba. Let's try. Nope. That is not good. I'm spotted. Now, Say needs to stay here because I want Plisket to be healed next turn. And we do have a problem with our distress beacon. Plus that extra pack that is coming in. Well, a grenade would be extremely handy now with a shield bearer there. Maybe we can ha hack the heavy mech. Ouch. Well, luckily the decoy has taken the damage, not us. Uh, that will maybe be a shot from the fire pyro. Oh yeah, we were not in cover. Oh yeah, we were not in cover. I forgot we were not in cover with her. But our adaptive armor has barely helped us. If I would have lost someone, uh, that would have been likely a retreat. Settle down, you're fine. For now, I still think we are good. Not perfect, but we are okay.
Good. Free fail save. I need that hack to be successful. Come on. Nice. That will definitely be helpful. Good. The mech is our mimic beacon in the front for now. Mutant goes down. Free reload and... Okay, we could definitely cover ourselves, uh, which I think is a good thing because all three here are, relatively speaking, exposed. <coughs> Haywar is now uh, going to be on a special mission, a special mission to go and prevent this complete cluster F to go tits up. Um, all right, I know there is a chameleon here. I've seen it move around essentially. Finally. Nice, okay, shield bearer. sure if this will trigger his uh, stupid in the zone it might do we're going to see yep still worth it we do have lightning reflexes what? We do have lightning reflexes. Pushing in. The shield bearer definitely needs to get shredded. Unfortunate. Let's just try to deal as much damage as we... Oh, wow. Good job. Five points is maximum damage. Yeah, hit it. Oh, yeah. Just cluster up all together. Love it. That on the other hand is a problem. <clears throat> we need to kill it because I need the extra actions to uh, to finish the mission. This is our main target. The 
This guy is another very, very important target. Perry. Ah, the untouchable overrides Perry because with Perry we would have killed him. Stupid. Perry, Perry, Perry. Nice. Okay, well, this time I'm happy about Untouchable. Incoming fire. Oh, no! We were doing so well before this goes sideways. How? Why? again please kill it all right hey Ward. Okay, I hope I can open the wall. Is that successfully cracking the wall? Not sure. Seven points of damage. Not yet a kill. I can handle that. Moving over here. I know I'm flanked from one side, which sucks, but Currently, I'm really trying to get in there. This here is a problem. Does the breakthrough always trigger no movement action after killing? Could attack. It's not a kill. That on the other hand would be a kill. Is 
Sun Lancer definitely needs to <coughs> help here. Listen. Biggest problem is to effectively get one shot. I don't want to risk Roro. Down to one hit point is a bit too close to my liking. Let's try to kill that. Lancer. 50-50 would have been nice uh, to get it down. Didn't work out. Okay. Fuck it, we're just going to go in. Even if that breaks our concealment. Not sure if we can range hack, I don't want to take any risks. System infiltration in progress. So regain all uh, mm, squad points would be the perfect option now. <coughs> But you're almost never getting that. Dark event projects by two weeks. That's not bad. Let's try that. We knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Let's get that Andromedon. I mean, look. Um, that's a kill. Easy. move to oh wow we're being <laughs> quite surrounded here this is not a bad position only one of them can flank me Shield bearer. Good crit. Very decent damage. Sane moves up. And just overwatches. Crit for 13, holy.
Yeah, come on, miss. Very nice. The inherent uh, defense pays off. Yeah, but there's only so much our mimic mech can do. At some point, it'll go down. Nice. Incoming over here. Untouchable, baby. Guardian and shield bearer. He's burning, he cannot attack. Can't take over the mech. What are we dealing with? <clears throat> the infectors. Like, what would the turn look like? So, no more AoE, right? The three infectors, we don't want any of them to survive. Let's say. We're hitting everything. Each of the infectors requires two shots. That's two and two. Charge in. Um, and our newbie moves somewhat here and shoots one. Okay, so that's both of our uh, marines gone and both of our uh, double agents which leaves us with sonar can take the ripper sonar could take a normal shot maybe even use a stun okay say so stun one gone um, one of the marines another one gone um, elite assault plus uh, Caden, another one gone okay all three gone um, noxus double shot on mag mag dies um, Nowhere for us to uh, deal with Andromedon, Mamba, Spectre, Soldier, Trooper, another Hive Drone, Chameleon, yeah. question answered itself. as far as I could I think it was a decent uh, fight decent overall uh, fight that we've put up but really there is only so much I can do against that amount of bullshittery Unfortunately, needed to be evac'd. Ah, 
which also reduced our firepower. Yeah, okay, one point of damage, sure. Yeah, none of those guys would die. But a satisfying shotgun to your face kind of end end this year <sighs> yeah we definitely need to review our tactics central um, when we were standing there and without any fault of our own we we're being uh, faced with a gatekeeper prime six additional um, advents then a full pack of uh, brood mother plus eight uh, chrysalids then another spawn of six chrysalids then another spawn of uh, four chrysalids yeah you're right we definitely need to review our tactics specifically since we killed all of them and then a next pack of seven came in and another pack of eight came in sure yeah i could have done better yep that makes a lot of sense. Listen, I tried my best without just throwing the lives of our comrades uh, away. Sucks that it didn't work out. The first one uh, to say, yep, bad, really bad. But Realistically, I don't think that we could have done much more. I tried. I really did. You might want to leave in the comments down below what uh, you think I could have done differently. Alright, uh, we're looking for the short term... Uh, missions dodge plus 10 oh yeah well that's oh yeah dodge plus 10 oh yeah dodge plus 10 Okay, well, it is what it is. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow them down. Good, order loader. Got a supply rate. Uh, I guess I will say thanks, but no thanks in that particular case. Just got my ass kicked uh, heavily enough. Avenger plotting new course. And we really don't need resources. What we need is peace of mind and no disturbance. Is there anything else we would like? No, we got enough skull jigs. Oh. Hmm. Is that winnable? <clears throat> or are we just chasing a pipe dream yet again damn it lost two missions in a row how, how does our roster look like okay so let's see prime team anyway it's not going to go on that mission period uh, quite uh, uh, quite easy uh, could have upgraded bond uh, three uh, hopbite and nemry true but I think the dodging part is more important. Um, that actually will help us more in the long run. Good, we have a lot of 
gravely wounded characters here. I could go in with the B team. Technically, yes, I could do that. But what are we dealing with? I mean, the last few missions were crazy. So, Chrysalid Hunter. Oh, I can see how this is. Oh, I can see how this is going. This is another one of those missions where we do have um, the alien, uh, the alien queen there, and in a matter of yeah one or two rounds, the entire map will be overrun, and we won't even be able to uh, to save enough uh, enough um, civilians. Is what I was looking for. Uh, to make ends needs. Well, maybe with a ghost grenade we would get like six civilians out. Hmm. 38. I don't know, man. I just... I just don't see that we're uh, really going to do endgame missions. The way that most of it is... Uh, is currently configured I do have limited counterplay the the A team with all of its skills maybe is capable of taking on such a mission and just will fight against the onslaught of enemies but realistically speaking uh, we're outgunned and outnumbered it's definitely force rating 20 now pot sizes are 7 8 um, so a single pot already uh, typically takes us two rounds to get down, including crowd control um, and uh, the eventual damage that we're going to take. But the, the maps are so heavily or so densely packed uh, with enemies that we're running into fights with two, three packs at a time. Take the last one. Um, uh, for instance and then on top of that we do have the spawning mechanic which I deeply regret not having modified in this campaign which always spawns an entire new pack and with the double pack size it multiplies I'm not trying to complain I'm just saying I'm not sure if the retaliation mission here would actually make a lot of sense the last mission was a good knock and I enjoy getting uh, getting my ass beaten uh, but I'm also thinking about does it add value at the end uh, of the day. So what would be the... Let's just try to see what the team would uh, look like when we're going there. And I'll make an executive decision if we're just skipping that and accepting the, mi the minus 80 intel. Okay, so it would be something along the lines of those two. Then we would need to give a crap about uh, Sane being tired, which gives us one sapper already with Sonar. Then Roro is unfortunately heavily, heavily, heavily uh, injured, so he's not going to make it. And I think we need another Zapper then. Which could be, for instance, Edgar Alien Poe here. Just for the extra Ghost Grenade, you know? Okay, how do I feel about that team? Uh, potentially m another marine. Something along those lines. Oh my gosh, you have a l you don't have a lot of uh, hit points. Seven. Okay, well, yeah, she's a lieutenant. Well, that explains it. The other option is a Reaper. 
with extra explosives and then more healing. How does that here look like? Hmm. I mean, this is heavy on explosives. The Reaper certainly doesn't have the normal damage output that another Marine would bring to the table, but we could uh, gather survivors faster and Haunt also, just like Haywire, generates AP, which is what I'm after. So having a Colonel on board actually makes sense. Good. Uh, nope. I don't know. Guys, typically I would uh, just ask the audience here. Uh, I'm normally not that indecisive, but this is already bad. I will do the next mission. You know what? Uh, we'll, we'll just go and uh, see how it works. And if it doesn't, then it is what it is. Thanks for watching. Let me know what I've uh, what I could have done better, and uh, hopefully the next mission won't be as uh, one sided as uh, the last one was. Well, it wasn't that one sided. We could have actually won it, but I ran out of um, consumables at some point. Good. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.